here we are, not too far away from the pyramids in ancient Egypt. I'm here because of an exciting new discovery found not too far from here. Recently, archaeologists uncovered the bones of seven big cows, and right nearby, they found some bones of seven smaller cows. And I was wondering, maybe by coming here I could find an answer to this question. Do you think that these bones are the bones from this week's parasha, from parasha Miketz? Do you think these are remains from the time of Yosef and Paro? I'm not so sure. So let's check it out and see if we can find an answer. Maybe if we sleep on it, we could figure it out. The correct answer is that the bones turned out not to be the ones from Paro's dream, because dreams don't leave bones. There is a machloket, a disagreement, in the Mishnah discussing the correct order for lighting the menorah. Beit Shammai feel that we should light eight the first night, seven the second night, so on and so forth, until we have one left for the last night. Beit Hillel, on the other hand, says we light one the first night, two the second night, and count up to eight. So Beit Shammai says we count eight and down, and Beit Hillel says we count one and up. The question is, on which night of Hanukkah would both Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel have the same looking menorah? On what night would it be the same? What do you think? In truth, whether it was Beit Shammai or Beit Hillel's house as you were passing, the candles would never look the same. When one lights four, the other lights five. And when one lights five, the other lights four.